morning and welcome to Micro Moment Monday. As you can tell, we are not in our usual location in our kitchen. We are out here instead in our greenhouse. And even though it is in the 30s outside, it's probably 60 in here. So I'm not dressed appropriately. I'm already uh, too hot. But it's nice to have a little escape because our kitchen is being painted. And this is not the only time we'll probably be shooting a video. We may be doing another video or two out here as well. So first of all, I want to thank all of you so much for the overwhelming success of our Black Friday uh, sale in our bookstore. So many of you were able to get entire sets of our books, which thrilled us. But most importantly, we're so grateful that you were able to get that for the information that is contained in those books. And we hope that you share that information with your friends so that we can get the word out about being prepared for the uncertainty of the days ahead of us. Now, I'm also announcing a new book release. Uh, this one is our off-grid holiday cooking. And um, it is now available up on our bookstore. I was not able to get this finished in time for our Black Friday sale. So this one was really a fun one to write uh, because we were practicing off-grid what we were going to make for Thanksgiving anyway. And so I was able to get pictures. But um, this has about 29 different recipes in it. And um, it has three entrees. It has a brined turkey, which we fixed on the Traeger. It has a... Um, a sweet roasted ham, also on the Traeger, and then it has brisket. And I make this brisket and share the recipe with you that is a family treasure. It's been in our family for a lot of decades. And um, I learned about this when I lived in Texas with when my children were young, and it was a family favorite. And I even give you the name of the secret sauce. And so um, it has four sections. It has uh, meats, sides, breads and desserts and so there's a lot of sides one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven sides not counting the roll recipes so that you can mix and match it's designed so that you can pick one entree from the meat section however many sides from the side section whatever you want in the bread section and whatever you want in the dessert section and it's it is focused around holidays so it's not extensive desserts i think i do two pies and um, cake and uh, cobbler and then the rolls are just several recipes of rolls that i love <clears throat> Some little surprises in here as well. There's a lot of information on the type of off-grid cooking equipment that we have and have worked with, um, knowing that you may not have the same things but different. And so we encourage creative problem solving when you get ready to do a, um, a holiday meal off-grid based on whatever equipment you have. And uh, did we run into some glitches? Oh, yes, we did. And so um, our video about our Thanksgiving uh, experience cooking off-grid is already posted. That was posted last um, Saturday. And so you can take a look if you haven't seen that already to see what the, the adventure was. Again, it is. it was about the timing. Um, I was, I struggled a little bit with the timing on off-grid because timing when you're doing solar and some things with propane ovens just isn't the same as when I'm working in my regular kitchen. So I talk about all those things in this book. So that's the skinny on this book. But I do have some exciting information. Because Black Friday was such success for us, we have decided to do three sales a year. So we will continue with Black Friday sale the day after Thanksgiving. And then we're going to do a sale in honor of Jim's birthday, which is a couple of days after Christmas, and in honor of my birthday, which is the first part of August. So we'll be having uh, Black Friday and then Jim's sale in late December and my birthday sale in the first of August. And then, so you'll be able to uh, get books on sale that you weren't able to get on Black Friday. So we are very excited about thinking about that. Right now our painter is in there. Everything is covered in plastic. The floor is covered in paper and tarps and he is spraying the ceiling. And so um, I have 
shot a little bit of footage of sort of the before and during that I'm going to attach to this video so you can see what's going on out there. But we are probably going to be out of our kitchen for about three or four more days. And when I say out of our kitchen, we have no access to the sink or the dishwasher or anything else until after he leaves and um, uh, in the late afternoon and then we can get in in the evening and do a few things. But it's been quite an adventure, but I can hardly wait for you to see the finished uh, product of our kitchen being repainted. We are remodeling in our kitchen just a little bit. This is only the first step and we're now done with, well as soon as the painting is done, we will be done until probably about March. This is the end of November <clears throat> because cabinet makers in this area are that far out and we're having some new cabinets put in in storage areas to increase our storage. So we're looking forward to that and we'll sort of bring you along piecemeal on that adventure as well. That is pretty much it for today. I'll include the footage of the kitchen um, as it has progressed as far as we can go. It won't be finished by the end of this video. We still will need to go in for several days next week so you won't see the finished thing until a future video. So here we go with that footage. So I lost the sound to this little clip and I'm doing a voice over so we're gonna see how that works. So we're walking into the kitchen and there is Tori, our painter. He just got here a few minutes ago and he's starting to unwrap the plastic that he's going to put all over the place. I'm really excited about the paint colors that we've chosen, but you never know what it's gonna look like until it is actually on the walls. This is our breakfast area, which is completely cleared out. Tori is going to repaint all of the white doors. So these are the two colors, brick red, and then the uh, lighter color is the wall color. The brick red is going to go in the bay window area, right there. So we'll come back later. Well, it is Saturday morning after Thanksgiving, and it's early this morning. Our painter was here all day yesterday. He has the floor all covered with multicolors of paper. The sink area is covered with plastic. He spent all day fixing cracks in the walls and putting putty in and doing the baseboards and getting all set up for today. He's going to spray paint the ceiling white, which I can hardly wait to have that done. We're without our lights. He's taken all of the lights out because he's going to spray the cans white for better reflection. He tried out our color, which you can't see very well in this light, but that's the red that this bay window area is going to be. And then here is the wall color. But the whole bay area is going to be that red, brick red color. So he's taken the doors off. He's going to be painting the doors as well. So we're without our kitchen for another couple of days while he finishes this project. So we'll come back and give you updates. So here we are after day two and it is looking absolutely exciting to me. So here we are. Windows are all encased in plastic, but here is the color. You can probably see it a little bit better. And then Tori has done a great job. The ceiling is now stunningly white. It's wow. gorgeous. And you can see the new color that the walls will be. He has about one more day of painting to get everything done. And here is this wall with a new color in place. And I'm just loving it. So we will bring you back next week when everything is completely done. Here is the view that you are most familiar with right here. 
and the new color up above the cabinets there. So that's where we are on our kitchen painting project. Um, and then we'll bring you the finished project in a few days. So thanks for being with us on this Micro Moment Monday, and we will see you again next week.